Hey folks, I'm Isaac. On this video, we are going to be making the roll top dry bag kit with Dyneema. Stay tuned. Now what you're gonna need for this kit is your typical DIYers toolkit. So some scissors, some thread snips, and then some things that might be nice for this will be the old Tweez McGee's lighter and clips. Now your kit is going to come with a few things. First will be some half inch polypro webbing. Next will be some mil spec half inch grow grain. You'll have an ultralight side release buckle, some one inch Dyneema repair tape, and then your laser cut DCF blank. Now before we get started, we are going to make sure that we have our thread uh, threaded correctly on the machine. We're going to make sure we have a fairly new needle. And then you're going to want to make sure that your tension is set correctly for what you're sewing with. And today we're going to be sewing a fairly lightweight Dyneema composite fabric. Now the first step in this project is going to be sewing down your side seam. Your pattern blank is going to come cut at approximately 17 inches by 19 inches. We're going to fold this in half along that 19 inch long side. And then we're going to sew down the 17 inch long side with approximately a quarter inch seam allowance. Once you've completed that side seam, we are going to go ahead and fold out the pattern piece and you're going to match that seam to your center line once you have it folded out. Now when you start taping things, there's going to be a few tips that will help you along the way. First of all, I like to take the piece of tape that I'm using and I'll usually just scratch one of the top corners until that tape comes up off the backing. This can be a little frustrating to get off sometimes, but just stick with it. And then we're going to place it down on the surface that we were taping on top of to help hold that a little bit as I'm taping. And I'm only going to take a small amount of tape off of the backing at a time so that it doesn't get stuck to something else. Once you've got your tape laid down, the next thing you're going to want to do is to just press it out. And if you have a seam roller, that's the best tool for this job. But you can also use something like the uh, handle of your scissors or something smooth and hard plastic, something like that. We're just going to take that and press our seam down, make sure that's good and pressed into those holes. If you'd like to watch a more in-depth video on taping, click on the link above. Our next step is going to be to sew down our bottom seam. Again, we're just going to sew this with a quarter inch seam allowance. Because this hem is on the bottom edge of this pattern piece, we're going to do it a little differently from the first. We're going to start by applying half of the width of our tape to the top side, covering the stitch, and then we're going to turn our pattern piece over, and we're going to fold that tape over the bottom edge of the pattern piece, covering the stitch on the other side as well. Now if all that got a little muddied in translation, just make sure that you Pac-Man that seam and cover both sides. Now that we've got our seams stitched and taped, we're going to go ahead and turn our bag right side out. Once you've got your dry bag turned to the right side out, you're gonna take your polypro webbing and you're gonna measure out exactly the width of the opening of that dry bag and trim and burn those edges. Now this polypro webbing that you just trimmed to the width of your bag is going to act as the roll top stiffener. This is gonna help you to roll the bag closed once you have it finished. And what we're gonna do with this is lay it on the 
inside of this flap and we're going to line it up with the folds on both sides and then we're going to put one row of stitching down the middle of that stiffener not through both sides just through one side now placement of this stitch is not nearly as important as making sure that you don't go off either sides of the polypro webbing or through both layers of the DCF. You want to make sure that you keep that stitch somewhat relatively in the middle of the polypro webbing. You don't go off the ends and you're only sewing through one side of your DCF. To complete the top of this dry bag, we're going to use this polypro webbing as a guide to make a rolled hem. And what you're simply going to do is take that polypro webbing and you're going to fold it down twice. And you're just going to make sure that you have an even fold all the way around. And then you're going to put down some stitches on either edge of that polypro webbing and we'll go from there. Now we've got that rolled hem rolled down, we're going to finish this off with two parallel stitches around the circumference of that bag. Now the important thing here is that you don't sew off of the inside of that rolled hem putting holes on the dry bag itself. Make sure you stay on the rolled hem. Okay, the final step is going to be to attach our ultralight side release buckle. Now what we're going to do is take our grow grain and we're going to measure about 5 inches and we'll cut that and then uh, trim the other piece to be 5 inches as well. All right, now that we have our grain positioned on our ultralight side release buckle, we can go ahead and separate that. And these buckles are going to be attached to the stiffener side of your roll top dry bag. And you're going to put the grain towards the inside of your bag on either side. And we're going to stitch those in place to only the side that has the stiffener in it. Now when I sew these down, I typically like to do two vertical stitches or two bar tacks and then two diagonal lines between those to make a uh, semi box X stitch. Okay, make sure you trim and burn all your edges and you're good to go. You're all set. Congrats on finishing your roll top dry bag kit. Check out our other kits for more MYOG fun like the ZPP kit. Make sure you take pictures along the way and tag us on Instagram. And thanks for watching.